Okay guys, big gift from Heba Chase. Today I'm at Fun Spot America in Kissimmee, Florida. Um, I just got off Mind Blower, which is a gravity group wooden coaster that opened two years ago on June 23rd. And this thing is a fun ride. I mean, it's a good coaster, but there's only one main issue with this ride that's actually pretty rough for a new wooden coaster, especially since I heard really good things about gravity group. I heard the family coasters that they make, like Kentucky Flyer, Oscar's Wacky Tack, and Wooden Warrior. I heard those are fantastic rides, but I mean, this is more intense, right? I'm like, well, of course, like, this thing has a freaking inversion. It's just probably the best part of the ride because it's actually pretty smooth. But the most of the ride is actually pretty, it's kind of rough, actually. Like, it's jolty throughout the ride. It's hard to put my hands up because. Like, it's just so rough and you're just trying to brace yourself for, um, lots of these, like, tight turns and, like, positive G's and stuff that, you're just trying to brace for the moments of this ride has to offer. Like, this part right here, if you can see, I think that part is actually the roughest this ride has to offer. It's, like, at the end. Like before you hit the brake run. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's uh, it's still a good ride. I rate I really it I rate really an 8 out of 10. I mean, before it was an 8.5 out of 10. This thing is just getting rough though. It's the kitty coaster, the ENF Myler kitty coaster. So. It, I think I prefer the Orlando funs, but this one's still pretty good. You got Head Rush from 60, the same parallel, like Mini Revolution. The model that goes up to now, and also you got a spinning coaster by Zamperla. Which, if you sit on one side, you're just gonna spin like crazy, which I really like. I think it's right, you have to go on solo, or at least with like two people on one side to get the crazy experience, like when you're spinning. And I think I really like it's a fun part. No, I didn't stay a whole lot. Thankfully, there was barely any lines. Like, of course, this is probably Florida's only like true amusement park. About all or almost all of Florida's amusement park, the theme parks. Almost all of Florida is basically theme parks. I mean, I'm not saying like, oh yeah, whole state's just theme parks. Like, what the state has to offer and like entertainment and like parks in general. It's basically just theme parks. But it's nice at least. Uh, maybe this is one of the more, or, like, it just feels different from like parts of Disney, like Sea World, the Gardens, Legoland. Which has been like an extremely long time since I've been to Legoland, but I don't know if I'm going to be going back anytime soon. Maybe since the uh, Lego Movie World has um, opened and there's other rides like that are new, like uh, Lego Ninjago. I mean Ninjago the ride. And I do remember rides though, so hopefully we will be um, going there soon, but I don't know, I don't think so. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification and notify when new video. Subscribe to more cheeses and stay tuned for more videos soon. Subscribe to more Ah sorry. Stay tuned for more videos soon. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon on Theme Park Chasers. Like oh my gosh. I ended up screwing up on that last sentence.